In this quick start video, I will show you how to merge with RouteCAD. We have designed a small house. It is made out of four objects. It, is, it has a front panel, a rear panel, and two sides. After these objects are routed, we will assemble this object to make a 3D house. What we want to do is to put the letter H in front of the front panel such that, uh, such that when it's routed, we can see the letter H and then the front panel. We've already designed uh, the letter H and the easiest way to add the letter H to the front panel is to merge it. This drawing has already been routed. We can see that the this circle over here is the first object to be routed because it is green. If we click the middle mouse button, we can see it's the first object to be routed. And then the other object over here, number two and number three. So all the routing definition have already been done. And uh, the tick line means that it's been routed and it, it represents the diameter of the drill. So let's merge the H to this drawing. We go to File, Merge, and we will select the letter H. Now, we have uh, two options. We can either merge the letter H before the first route or after the first route. Let's analyze uh, the effect of each of these options. If we merge the letter H before the first route, what it means, it means that uh, RouteCAD, instead of this circle being routed first, it will, it will first route the letter H, and then when, once it is done routing the letter H, it will go and route this circle and then continue routing the other element as as usual that's the first option to route to to merge before the first route the second option is to merge after the last route if we do that the effect would be that routecad will route all the elements in the small house as usual. It will do the circle and then it will do this line, that line, and then do all the rest. And at the end, it will route the letter H. We definitely don't want that because if we do that, all the, the, the letter H will already have disconnected from the main support material. And then, uh, then the CNC will go and try to route the letter H in a disconnected uh, port, and it will simply damage the port, and it will, it's not going to work. So we'll select yes. Now we can see the letter H is over there. Uh, if we press Escape, the letter H is simply inserted at the current location. And if we see, if we click the middle mouse button on this, because this becomes green, because this is the first object to be routed now, we can see that it's object number one. And then all the other objects of the letter H are being routed all the way to number 13. So all the letter H is routed from one to 13. And if we scroll right a little bit, we can see that the, the circle, which used to be number one, become number 14. So, uh, RouteCAD inserted this letter H in this drawing and routed all the letter H to the letter H before routing the, the other element. This is good. And st the only problem is that the location uh, that we put it in is not correct. We don't want it to be here. We want it to be over there. So, let's do Control z to undo. And by the way, after we've undone the last action, this, this circle become again the first object to be routed. Now we will try merging again. We do file, 
merge. We we'll select the letter H, we we'll click open, and we we'll say yes again. Now we will use the mouse to merge. So we will define the initial location to merge the object. We press F3 to enable the snap, and we will snap in the middle of this line. And we will drag the mouse and bring it in the middle of the small house. And then we will press F3 to disable the snap and then drop it. It's good, except that it is not accurate. We want the letter H to be exactly in the middle. So let's do it again. We do Control Z to uh, cancel the last action. And what we'll do, we'll put a construction line between this point and that point such that we will use that as a guide to drop the letter H exactly in the middle of this house. So let's do it. To draw a line, we do Control Alt L and we're going to select Use Mouse and we click on Continue. Now we press F3 to enable the snap and we click near the end of that line. We clear near the end of that, the, the other line and we click the right mouse button to cancel the action of drawing line. Now we have a line that is a construction line. Uh, there is nothing wrong to leave construction lines in a drawing that uh, we're going to export. Uh, if we don't route this line, this line is simply a construction line that will not be routed. It is in the drawing, but it will not appear in the final object that we are actually machining. Only routed element will appear in the object that we are finally machining and the construction line is simply a line that we can use to help us position our object so on and so forth and if we click the middle mouse button on this line we can see that it's not routed and we do not intend to route this line so let's merge again we go to file and uh, merge we select the letter h now we click on yes to insert this letter H before the first route, before the first route, which is which is the, 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 the circle. We click on yes. And we will select uh, F3. F3 is already, snap is already on. We will click on, we will click on the middle of that line to get the middle of the letter H. And we will bring the letter H to the middle of the line that we want to drop it on and it automatically snapped to the middle of that line and now what we have is the letter H and we're going to bring, we're going to scroll to the right a little bit now the first element to be routed is on the letter H because we answer yes to the question to merge before the first route and it's routing the letter H completely until element 13 and then element 14 becomes the first circle. So what's going to happen, the CNC will route the letter H completely. It will disconnect the from the main material, which is fine. It will route the first circle, which will also disconnect. And then it will route the front panel. Then the front panel will disconnect. Now, if we go to the view and we click on display route arrow, What we can see, we can see that the first object to be routed is in green, which is the first arrow, and then the CNC will go up, right, and then it will be performing all the routing of the letter H first. Once it is done, we can see the dashed lines move to the circle, and it will do the routing of the circle, which is element 14.